Genesis chapter 6. And when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and when daughters were born to them, it came to pass that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were very beautiful, and they took wives for themselves from all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, since he is flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. And there were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore sons to them, the same became mighty men who were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it grieved the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and made him sorrowful at heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it grieves me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now these are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah fathered three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the earth was also corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted its way upon the earth. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make you an ark of gopher wood. You shall make rooms in the ark, and you shall pitch it inside and outside with pitch. And this is the way that ye shall make it. The length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it shall be fifty cubits, and the height of it shall be thirty cubits. And you shall make a window in the ark, and you shall finish it above to a cubit. And ye shall set the door of the ark in the side of it. Ye shall make it with lower, second, and third stories. And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth in order to destroy all flesh, in which is the breath of life from under the heavens. And everything which is in the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you and your sons, and your wife, and your sons' wives, and you. And ye shall bring into the ark two of every kind, of every living thing of all flesh, to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, two of every kind shall come to you to keep them alive, of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after its kind. And take unto you of all the food that is eaten, and you shall gather it to you, and it shall be for food for you and for them. And Noah did so according to all that God had commanded him, so he did.